Hello and welcome to today's math video. Our goal for this one is to write percents that are greater than 100 or less than 1. Um, Evidence-wise, we're going to talk about how do we understand how to write a percentage that's greater than 100 as either a fraction or a decimal, as well as how do we take a fraction percent and a decimal percent and write them as fractions and decimals. If you're confused about what a fraction or decimal percent is, you'll see in our second you do and second example. Um, so look forward to that part. Um, you can read our learning experience there if you so choose. And without further ado, let's move straight into our first example for today. So what happens if you have a percentage that's above 100? Well, we could have something like this, 120%. You may have heard somebody at some point say something like, give 110%, but that's, that's impossible. impossible. No, no one, one can give more than 100%. By definition, that is the most anyone can give. There are still some situations where you can have a percentage, however, above 100%. Um, for example, maybe you're looking at some sort of business growth. Your business has grown by 120%. That's good. Um, so it is possible, but how do you then express that? Uh, well, we're going to do two ways. One of the ways we're going to write it is as a decimal, and the other way is going to be as a fraction, much like we did in our previous video. Um, so to write a percentage above 100 as a decimal, basically all you got to do is divide it by 100. It's essentially the same thing that we did in the previous video, um, but with a bigger number this time. So again, you could set up a long division, do 120 divided by 100, you'd get a 0 here, you'd get a 0 here, you'd get a 1 here, 100, oops, 100 subtracts, you, uh, yeah, you get 20, bring down the 0, 1.2. You could also just move your decimal point over two spots like we were doing. Um, either way, you'll get 1.2. It's the same thing as 120%. Uh, just written as a decimal. Nothing too bad, hopefully. Whichever way you choose to do it is fine, as long as you make sure you show all of your work. As for doing this with a fraction, again, it's not really going to be anything different than what we already have done. You're going to make your percentage the numerator of a fraction. The bottom is going to be 100. And then you do have to simplify. So you'd have 12 tenths, which you could simplify to 6 fifths. You could write this as a mixed number if you wanted to, but if you leave it as an improper fraction, that is totally fine. If you want to go for 6 fifths instead of 1 and 1 fifth, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you do just need to make sure that you simplify it. So. Just like in the last video, nothing too bad, I hope. Long division can be a little bit scary, but because we're dividing by 100, shouldn't be that bad. Um, yeah, nothing too bad. You could, as a side note, also go from a fraction that you simplified into a decimal if you wanted to. You do the same thing, do some long division, 6 divided by 5. You will find that 1 goes into... You'll find that 5 goes into 6 once, you subtract, 5 goes into 10 twice, so you still end up with 1.2, it doesn't matter. Um, but if you needed to find both of those, you could do it that way and be fine. That's the great thing about math, there are always multiple pathways that you can take. So our first you do for this video, you're going to take this percentage, 140%, you're going to turn it into both a fraction and a decimal. Which one you start with is totally up to you. Um, but you are going to do both of them. Ready, go. So what then happens if you have a percentage that is less than 1? So we've got two examples here. We've got a fraction percent and a decimal percent. That's just what those two terms mean, just how they're written as a percent. Well, we're going to do the same thing for both of them. 
um, <laughs> that we did for our first example. We can write them as either a full-on decimal or as a proper fraction. If we want to write it as a decimal, we are going to first have to divide it. So we would have to do a little bit of long division. 1 divided by 2. 2 doesn't go into 1. It does go into 10, though, which would be 5. Subtract, we're good. So we could write it as a decimal percent, at least, to start with. Um, then we do the same thing that we did. We are then going to divide 0 0.5 by 100. You could, again, set up a long division if you want. I still think it's much easier just to move your decimal over once, twice, and that will give us a 0 0.005. So five thousandths, that's what half a percent would be. Really, it's not that different. It's just we end up with a very small number this time. As for writing as a fraction, same thing. Uh, we're going to write 0 0.5 over 100. Now, where this is a little bit different is that we are going to need to get rid of the decimal on top here. To do that, let's just multiply it by 10. We, of course, do it to both the top and the bottom to keep things perfectly balanced. And in doing so, we'll get 5 over a thousand. That makes sense because we had five thousandths as a decimal. It's the same thing. These two things are equal. Um, it's just a different way of writing it. So pause the video if you need to. Again, write down any of these examples. Rewind if you need to watch anything else. Let's move on to our decimal percent. Um, really, the only difference here is that we don't need to do this initial division problem. Uh, if we wanted to write it as a decimal, well, we kind of already did that. We had 0 0.5. We divided by 100, and we got 5 thousandths. If we want to write it as a fraction, we do the same thing. We make sure it's as a decimal. To get rid of the decimal on top, we're going to multiply it by, uh, by 10 in this case and get five thousandths again. Um, so really, having a fraction percent is just one extra step, which would be dividing. Uh, but other than that, it's the same thing. As for a little bit more detail on why we specifically multiply by 10 here, that's just the smallest number we can multiply to get 0.5 to be a whole number. You could choose to multiply by 100 or by 1,000, it doesn't matter, as long as you do the same thing to both sides. Uh, the only difference is that by making it by 10 in this case, we don't have to simplify this much. Technically, we could. We could divide both of these by 5 and get 1 to 100th. Um, but that's going into more detail than we need to for this video. Pause again. Write down anything that you need for decimal percents. Arguably, you don't need to because it's the same thing that we did for fraction percents. Our second you do, you're going to do the exact same thing. Um, this time we've got three-fourths of a percent and 0.75 of a percent. Um, are they the exact same thing? I guess you'll find out once you turn them both into decimals and fractions. Um, probably. <laughs> Pause the video uh, and begin. So things to remember from this video. Whenever you are turning a percent over 100% into a fraction or decimal, you use the exact same method as making a percent between 1 and 100 into a fraction or decimal. Um, there's nothing different. There's nothing new that we didn't know from the last video. It's the same thing. Just remember, when you make your fraction, make sure to simplify it if you can. As for a percent that's less than 1, it's still basically the same thing. Uh, you might have to do a little bit of extra division. You might actually have to do a little bit of extra multiplication to make your fractions into whole numbers. Um, 
but nothing really that bad. Uh, yeah, really, it's a review from last time. Pause the video, rewind to whatever you need to if you missed something previously, and then you should be good. So we got a few suggested practice problems for this video. The first uh, table, you are going to turn percents above 100% into decimals and fractions. The second table, you're doing the same thing, but all of your percentages are less than one. I give you one decimal and two fractions. I did give you the fractions because they're a little bit harder. I'm sure that's fine. Um, pause the video, give these a try. And of course, good luck.